Okay, so did you recently buy a Blue Yeti microphone and you're wondering how the heck do I set this thing up? That is exactly what I'm gonna show you today. So let's get right to it. Hey y'all, Crystal here today and I'm gonna show you how to set up a Blue Yeti microphone. I've had this for, I want to say a year and a half now, and I love it. It's what I use for my podcast most of the time when I'm in my office. I actually have it connected to this boom arm. If you want to know how I installed that, you can check out this video right here. That's going to show you all about installing this microphone on this boom arm. I went through step by step how I did it. But today, um, I've had a few people ask me how to set up your Blue Yeti. Now, if you purchased it recently and you took it straight out of the box, it will not look like this because I have this connected to my boom arm, but I wanted to just show you how I have everything set up as I've taken it out of the box, hooked it up to my computer, and what it would look like. So, as you can see, here's the front side. This blue right here, this label, is the front of the microphone. How do I know that? It's because this is where the power button is. So whenever it's solid red, that means it's actually plugged in and it's working. If it's blinking, that means it's muted. How do I know all these things? Well, I read the instructions when I first got it, but also it's been turned off a few times when I've done some live videos and some podcasts. So this is more like a lessons learned. Don't do these things. Please learn from my mistakes but I would turn that back on and I'm assuming that you want to know all the things, right? You want to know how this works. Like just give me in a nutshell what I need to know about this microphone. I'm also going to assume that you are a solo podcaster and you're using this just for yourself. I will do a separate video on how you can um, record this, use it like with multiple people around you. But for today's purposes, this is assuming it's just you. You're talking directly into the microphone. So this is the volume key, the volume button, I said key, the volume dial. Oh, see, I'll get the right terminology one day. And this is actually has more to do with the headphone jack that is underneath here and not anything to do. Oh, let me see if I can turn it. I can't turn it, but there's a little headphone jack under there. I'm sure you can see it on yours. I could turn the camera and move it, but it's all going to fall over. You really don't even need it if you're hooked up to your computer and you're listening that way. But I'm just telling you it's an option. You could plug your headphones in here. I have AirPods anyway now and I don't um, I don't have regular headphones. I do somewhere. Like I'm just gonna admit, I have three kids and they're probably in one of their bedrooms or hooked up to a computer somewhere. I have no idea where they are. So I've been using my AirPods. So I don't even really use this. But if you needed to have an outlet to listen to your stuff, you could do it here on the microphone. Now, let's turn it around and go to the back. I'm actually gonna unplug it so I don't mess up this cord. So now that you've seen like, hey, there's no, it's completely off, it's because I just unplugged it. But we're gonna turn it around and now you're gonna see the dials on the back. So this top one is the gain and this is the one that I would say is the second most important. The first is making sure it's turned on, making sure it's a solid red light that you're looking at. This one controls the volume. So whenever you're speaking in, if, I'm, if I have this in front of me and I use it, it's actually upside down when I record because it's on the boom arm, but I could speak into it just like this and it would be right in front of me. The gain is how loud your voice is whenever it goes into the microphone. I'm sure there's a more technical way to explain it, but that is how I explain it to all of the people in my community because it makes the most sense because we're not super technical people anyway. So the gain, I always recommend people start off with it right in the middle. Um, that way you can kind of know how loud or how uh, soft you need to speak into the microphone. And the middle is a good starting point because you could speak into it at a normal level and I would realize, oh, I need to turn the gain way down because I'm super loud. Let's just be honest that it's, I'm a very loud person and I have to adjust my microphone. I have to make sure that my input levels aren't too loud when I'm recording my podcast. 
So um, this is the way that you can do this. You can also do this in your recording software, but if you just wanna do it right here on the mic, you can do that, and that is what the gain is. Now, underneath here, you will see there are different pattern buttons. Now, in your Blue Yeti box that you would have received your microphone, you should have gotten a booklet. This is where I learned how to set up the pattern for a solo podcaster. There is actually, um, if you don't have the booklet anymore, you can Google a uh, Blue Yeti manual or something and it will actually show up. The entire manual will be there and you can understand which, uh, which pattern you need for your podcast. It will give you an explanation and show you what each one of these mean. But for a solo podcast, you actually just need it on, this is the eight, you need it on the upside down heart. There are more technical names for this. I call it the upside down heart because that is how it was explained to me and that is the one I'm gonna say. And to be honest, I'm afraid I'm going to mispronounce some of the other ones on there. So I'm just not even gonna say them, okay? It's the upside down heart. That's the one that you need to know for your podcast. So if I were recording, and I'm actually gonna do this how I record, I'm gonna plug this back in. And what's the first thing we do? We make sure it's turned on and it's blinking, so it's muted. And this is like, just a little side note, every time I sit down to record, I always make sure that this is red. Always, always, and then I always do a test clip. So another pro tip, like before you start recording, make sure you always do a test clip so you know it's at the right volume. If like somebody has adjusted this on the back or changed anything here, you wanna make sure that it sounds really good and how you expect it to sound whenever you sit down to record. But if I were recording um, and this was turned upside down, this is how I record. Normally I'm sitting down, I'm standing right now. But I would just make sure that it was a good distance away from my mouth, not too close, not too far away. And I would just project and talk like I normally talk. You don't have to yell into the microphone. You don't have to be really soft when you talk either. Be yourself. Be yourself. Talk to your audience like you would talk to them if you were sitting across the table having coffee. That is what I imagine when I'm doing my podcast because that's what feels natural to me. If you try to do something that's awkward or different, it's going to feel forced and your audience is going to pick up on that. And maybe while you're just getting your feet wet because I'm assuming you just got this brand new microphone, maybe you're starting a brand new podcast. Congratulations, first of all. But just know that it gets easier with time. So do lots of test clips, like do some do some episodes where you just know I'm probably gonna throw this entire thing in the recycle bin because I don't know what I'm doing, but just know you're gonna get better. You're going to get better with time. So I want you to make sure you give yourself some grace and just understand it's gonna be some trial and error, but you will get this figured out. So tell me in the comments below whether you just purchased your Blue Yeti or like this is your very first podcast microphone or you recently upgraded. Because when I first started, I bought a $20 microphone on Amazon and that's what I started with and it wasn't until I was almost 40 episodes into my podcast that I upgraded to my Blue Yeti. So tell me in the comments below which one, like which category you fall under. Okay, let's get back to the video. But that does it for today, so give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial or you wanna see more videos like this. Make sure you subscribe below, that way you don't miss any future podcasting videos that we put out every single week. And check out these other videos right here because like I said, we put out amazing podcast content every single week. It's what I love to talk about around here. And I wanna make sure that you get your hands on the free five-day podcast bootcamp that is in the link below this video. And remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.